this field. Oh, for Eco Cars and uh, an ENV 200 on a 64 plate. This is the Rapid uh, Ascenta Plus. So uh, it's got the onboard 6.6 .6 kilowatt charger. In Postman Pat Red, I feel like I want to burst into song singing Postman Pat, but I won't do that now. Um, it's great. It's come direct from Nissan and uh, it's very, very clean and it's been freshly boarded out. So uh, nice, fresh smelling plywood. Um, I'll include the Type 2 cable and also the granny cable is here. We have a steel bulkhead which does unbolt so you can take that out should you want to. Um, two sets of keys and got the rear doors as well. Really is very, very clean as you can see. Um, registered 31st of October 2014, not yet three years old. And uh, let's just get out of the wind. I've got some uh, Edgar Nissan mats in the front foot wells, no rips or tears to the upholstery. Uh, it's a really, really nice, clean example, and two keys as well. So let's just get inside out of the wind. So the van has detected the keys are here with me. So you put your foot on the brake, very similar to the leaf. Press the power button. And again, we don't get the jingle like you do in the leaf. And just turn the fan off. And again, it's on. So we've got the uh, total range there, 20, well, total range, total miles, 25,880 miles. Uh, it's not fully charged and it's showing 49 miles. Being the uh, uh, Ascenta Rapid Plus, we have all the normal features of the ENV 200, so like I'm almost like a conventional gear stick. So P is for park, R for reverse, and then a little reversing camera comes on, which is really, really useful. Bluetooth phone, radio, CD player, air conditioning, um, an eco button like the Leaf. We also have a menu here for trip, intensity lights, the dashboard, to reset various functions. And this one here can just scroll around, put it back into park, just scroll around various different functions on the computer. Uh, just show you the, there's the two charge times, uh, battery percentage left, there's the battery capacity, so all the bars are showing, so the battery is absolutely spot on. Um, date and time, there you go, there's the two charge times proving that it's a 6.6. .6. So at 6.6 .6, to finish charging now it's saying 3.3 .3 hours, three and a half hours or on a three kilowatt granny cable it's going to take six hours. Uh, that is also <laughs> a guesstimate, it will charge a lot quicker than that as well. So yeah, really really nice in here, little glove box, electric windows, um, yeah all the normal things you'd expect in a modern van. Let me show you some detail. So there's no previous keepers registered 31st of October 2014 so it's nearly three years old and it's an ENV 200 Ascenta Rapid Plus so you'll be down as the second keeper um, all the books and manuals are here that came with the van when it was brand new along with a stamped up service book get the right page there we go it's had two services <coughs> first one at 9,000 miles um, a year after it was registered, so 30th of October 2015, and the last one was done the 29th of November 2016 at 20,000 miles, which is what just 5,000 miles ago. So the next check is due end of November, which will be a minor service. So it's just basically check the tyres and check the brakes. The brake fluid change is done every two years, so that's already been done in the last service. So before walking around the van, I'll just take you down for a short test drive. So welcome to the test drive. So foot on the brake, the keys are in the van, press the power button. All lights up, it's ready to go. So again with your foot on the brake, press the little knob in on the side of the gear selector, down from P through R through N down to D to drive. Release the handbrake and squeeze the throttle and away we go really is very simple to drive, being full automatic of course. 
and very brisk acceleration and lovely to drive. Now we sell a lot of uh, electric vehicles here on Orkney and vans are really popular. Basically if you've got your own wind turbine then you can run this van basically for nothing um, because you're making your own electricity. What I was going to say, it drives like all the other ENV 200s, it drives nice and straight, doesn't pull to the left or the right. Um, it benefits from the bulkhead so it's not quite as boomy. The last video I did was the uh, Peugeot Partner electric van and there was quite a lot of booming noise because it was an open space but this benefits from the bulkhead so it's not quite so echoey as it was in the Peugeot Partner or in any other electric van that has another bulkhead so that's useful. Um, like all electric vehicles you've got some indication on the dashboard as to how much energy you're drawing from the battery. So when you come off the accelerator you get little green bars appearing and they're basically indicating that you're regener regenerating or regen braking um, and pushing energy back into the battery. So it makes such a lot of sense because there's less wear and tear on the brakes and you're harvesting energy. So there is a taxi company in Cornwall with one of these as a taxi with seats in and they've done a hundred thousand miles and they're on the same set of brake pads. So you know the running costs on these things is just really really small. So I'm going to turn right here and turn around, not touching the brakes, I'm actually regening. And I've also got, as well as an eco button, we've got extra B, like in the leaf, which just harvests a little bit more energy. And I've totally mucked up that corner. And go. <laughs> Has got a good turning circle, same basic floor pan as the leaf. So uh, for those that drive this in the leaf, it's all very familiar. Got Bluetooth phone to voice activation, change from CDs, AM, FM, etc. Um, yeah, they're great, really, really great, excellent vans. And I like it in red, it's really good. If you're here on Orkney, CSO man Conrad, he services all electric vehicles, and when I say service, he checks the tyres, checks the brakes, he gives you a new pollen filter if you want the van to smell nice. Brake fluid every other year, which is brake fluid change, that's it. No gearbox, no oil, no engine oil, no particulate filter for your, your DPF and your diesel vans, no road tax, and uh, strangely enough, because it's a commercial vehicle, there's no MOT necessary on commercial electric vehicles. It comes from the days of milk floats. So this is due an MOT, at three years but technically it doesn't need one but I would always have one because it's obviously just good to check that the car stops properly the, the van stops properly the lights work the wipers are up to scratch etc etc so I, I don't recommend never having an MOT but um, technically it doesn't need one for the rest of its life I'm sure that law will change soon I've gone slightly off topic <laughs> this is a great van you won't be disappointed I'm just going to pull over, regening electricity, it's got air conditioning, the heat is really fast, it's a heat pump, just turn the fan down. So if you'd like more information, if you'd like to borrow this van for a long weekend, then give me a call, Jonathan here at Eco Cars on Orkney, I live out at Rendell, and uh, look forward to speaking to you soon, thanks for watching. So welcome back to the test drive, I'll make it a brief walk around because it's, it's not very pleasant. <laughs> um, we've got good tyres on all four wheels, all good years, this trim is perfect, there are no dinks down the side, wing mirrors are fine, the glass is good. Um, that's polish, that wheel trim, that tyre again is good, very clean, there's no marks to the bumpers, uh, that trim, again, showing a slight scuff been really fussy and the front near side is showing a little bit of a dink to the plastic wheel trim nothing to worry about but apart from those dinks to the wheel trims and slight scuffs it is absolutely spot on 
there are no chips to the front. It really is a very, very clean example. We won't have this for long. It's here with me up here on Orkney. So if you're a business and you'd like to borrow this van, then give me a call. I look forward to speaking to you soon.